Today is day two of my ramen challenge and some of my friends are in town, so I decided to make a build your own instant ramen station. I didn't want to wreck their stomachs, so I provided a mix of mild and spicy ramens for them to choose from. It was also brunch time, so I made a mimosa and coffee station for them to enjoy while I cooked the toppings. You'll have to let me know which bowl you think looks the best at the end. The first topping I made was bacon, pretty straightforward and a typical brunch food here in the States. I'm also chopping up some green onions and to add a bit of crunch, I'm boiling bean sprouts. They don't add much taste to the ramen, but I like the extra texture change. While that's cooking, I'm getting a big pot of water heated up so my friends can cook their instant noodles. They've never tried American cheese in their ramen before, so I thought it would be a great time to introduce them to the option. In the bacon fat, I'm frying up some sausages since it's another classic breakfast item. Now, this smoked salmon was a last minute decision that I started to regret when I plated it. It just didn't look like it would go that well in the noodles, but since I already bought it, I thought, oh well. Next, I'm boiling some frozen and chicken and cabbage dumplings. I threw in more bacon because I started to overthink and worry about someone maybe wanting more than one slice and they wouldn't have enough. I got out a bunch of different bowls and they all chose their packages. Last thing was just frying up the eggs. So we got crispy bacon, smoked salmon, sausages, dumplings, green onions, American cheese, fried eggs, bean sprouts, and chili oil. Gotta make sure you provide both forks and chopsticks as well. Next was the fun part watching all my friends assemble their bowls. Bowl number one. Bowl number two, pretty solid. Bowl number three, this is Holly's. <laughs> Vote for me. Bowl number four. I went for the Momofuku spicy soy noodles with a fried egg, bacon, dumpling, sausage, bean sprouts, green onions, smoked salmon, and I almost forgot the chili oil. I had a ton of fun making this for my friends and I'll most likely do it again. The smoked salmon ended up working out and Holly even added a second slice of cheese to her ramen. Second one? Yeah, it's so good. I don't even like this kind of cheese usually. 